California has lifted all capacity limits on churches and other places of worship. This comes after a lengthy legal battle between the state and religious leaders and a recent court ruling. Joining us now with reaction is Bishop Art Hodges from South Bay Pentecostal Church. Bishop, good morning and look at that smile. <laughs> Good morning, Gloria. Yes, we are smiling. <laughs> well, this is something that you've really been fighting for from the beginning because you said, uh, you know, it's it's a matter of freedom of religion. It's choice. You have safety uh, mitigation in place, and and so this is this became a legal matter. And so now, tell us uh, tell us what ruling happened. What notification you're you're hearing right now? Yeah. So this is very exciting news for every person of faith that loves to attend their house of worship. In the state of California, all capacity restrictions have been lifted. Now other CDC protocols should be practiced and followed, you know, for safety that are generally applicable to, you know, the general populace and secular industry. But all capacity limits have been lifted off of churches and that is huge, that is huge. Now, let me tell you how we found this news. We found this news yesterday. Yesterday, there was a scheduled call between our attorneys and California state attorneys, and they were setting the scheduling for deposing the California public health officer and the discovery of all communications in California at the highest levels regarding how they came up with all of these restrictions in the first place. Well, uh, California punted. They do not want their public health officer deposed by the attorneys. They don't want to disclose their confidential communications behind all of their restrictions and what have you. And with the fifth Supreme Court ruling coming down in favor of religious liberty in California, coming in late this last Friday night, they basically caved. And uh, also last night, the state attorney general sent a letter to the Supreme Court referencing our case, our cert pending at the Supreme Court now, letting them know that their response has been to lift all capacity limits off churches. So this is a huge victory. Uh, the war is not over because we're still litigating the no singing ban. We're still litigating the you know spatial distancing being disparate towards churches where colleges and schools are now allowed to be three feet of separation. They're still imposing six feet in churches. So there's a few minor points here to still litigate, but this is a huge turning point in the battle for religious freedom and really personal freedoms for everybody in California and in America. Interesting how you found out. Uh, how, how are your parishioners feeling? What are you hearing from members of your church? Well, you know, the word's just leaking out. So even though this word came yesterday afternoon and last night, uh, it's just kind of now hitting the news. And so I, I would imagine we've got folks that are watching your broadcast right now. I'll probably be getting calls and text messages and our office will, you know, after this broadcast. Um, so they're just finding out. But I'm telling you what, it's going to be huge, huge, huge relief for every person of faith that, that is wanting to go to their house of worship or has been going to their house of worship, but it's been limited, or those that have been turned away. We have had to turn away, Lauren, people from coming into the house of worship because we're trying our best to follow you know, what is required, while at the same time we're litigating to lift those mm -hmm. requirements. We're not wanting to live in defiance of the law. We're certainly not being unsafe. Not a single case of COVID transmission from the beginning in one year of anyone from attending a worship experience at South Bay Pentecostal Church. So we're practicing all those safety protocols, but let me tell you something, uh, people of faith are gonna be elated when they hear that news today. Absolutely. Bishop Art Hodges, thank you so much for joining us this morning and congratulations on uh, the legal victory. And I'm sure we'll continue to follow this with you. Thank you, Lauren, God bless you. We appreciate you thank very you. much in your station. You too.